Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about some Australian gold. I'm going to tell you the differences and similarities between the Australian gold number one fragrance rapid tanning intensifier and Australian gold dark tanning accelerator. The other day, I was trying to buy some Australian gold products. I noticed that there are two very, very similar tanning lotions by Australian gold. I was on Amazon and I was twiddling my thumbs on my keyboard, scrolling downtown, trying to find some Australian gold, and I came across these two. They're both Australian gold and they both sound like the same thing and they both have the same star ratings. And so I'm sitting over here like, okay, but which one's better? So today I am here to tell you which Australian gold tanning lotion is better. Pretty, pretty, rich, gang, tight. Okay, I'm going to be looking at my phone for my notes on the intensifier. Okay, starting off, this has a little logo that says number one fragrance. As I recall, she smells like peaches, mangoes, sunscreen, love, sun, amazingness in a bottle. It smells very good. It smells different than classic Hawaiian Tropic products. This is a whole nother level. This is fabulous, period. This product was very easy to apply. It spread out very nicely onto my skin. This is because I didn't need a lot of product to cover my entire body. Also, the consistency is not that gloopy, so it was really easy to just glide on and call it a day. In my opinion, the consistency and the application process is 110% better then the Sun Bum Tanning Lotion, as well as the Maui Bay Browning Lotion. This is because it dried instantly. I put this all over my legs and then went to go do my arms. Three minutes later, no tackiness, no stickiness, no nothing, which I love. It's already uncomfortable enough to be sweating and sticky while tanning, and this just made my life way easier by not having that gross feeling that nobody likes. Also, with this one, the color of it is white, and it does not show up white on your skin. It absorbs very, very, very fast, which is great. Hello. My thoughts on this intensifier is, it really did help speed up the process when I was tanning. I found that my skin absorbed a lot more color a lot faster than usual. This isn't because of the amount of time I was outside or the UV index. It had been a straight week of the identical sunny days. And this particular day that I used this intensifier, man, did my skin soak up sun way faster. This product almost makes you burn a little quicker when you're in the sun, so I would be very careful and apply SPF underneath. In my opinion, the intensifier did intensify my tan. Yes, it did get very tan, but it also sped it up a little bit, which is kind of weird if this one's called intensifier. Next up, tanning accelerator. Let's talk about this bad boy. Similarly to the other one, this smells fabulous. This one has a pretty close scent. I honestly don't really notice a big difference because it is by the same brand and they have the same vibe going on for each of the tanning lotions. So this one also smells amazing. This one has a slight orangey yellow color. It does not rub off on my towels or bathing suit as well as it has the same consistency as the intensifier, meaning that when I put it on my body, I don't need that much and it dries quite quickly. In my opinion, the accelerator does not dry as fast as the one I just talked about, but it still does dry quite fast. But just to clarify, they both do take 
negative time to dry up on my skin. There is ever so slightly just a little bit of a greasy feeling after. Nowhere near the Maui Babe or the Sun Bum or your regular kind of oil or sunscreen. Obviously oil is greasy. But this one was quite dry, but I'm just saying in comparison, this one was just a little bit greasier. The accelerator was also lightweight and felt great on my skin. It wasn't tacky. So A plus with Australian Gold's formula, you're killing it. Both of these products are transparent when they are rubbed into the skin. There's no color that stays on the skin like what you would get with a lotion with a tanning bronzer in it. These don't rub off on my towels or bathing suit. They just sink right in and boom. With the accelerator, my thoughts are, it gave me a more golden touch to my skin while tanning. In my opinion, the accelerator actually gave me a more golden, deep, darker tan while I was out in the sun, which is ironic because you would think the intensifier does this. So it's almost like the names of these two have just switched. Quite literally. This does say dark tanning. So of course it is going to give you a very nice golden tan, which it did. But I'm just saying in terms of speed, you would think accelerator would be a little bit faster, but I found intensifier to bring sun into my skin quite faster. This one did give me a dark, dark tan, just like the bottle says. I also just wanna mention that the intensifier is formulated with tea tree oil and aloe vera. The accelerator is enriched with vitamin A, native oils, and vitamin E. This accelerator is formulated to be used in an indoor tanning salon, but I do personally use it outside and it works wonders. Does it say you can use it outside? Not really. Do I use it outside? Mm-hmm. Does it work fabulous outside? Mm-hmm. I have never used the accelerator in a tanning salon, so I cannot speak to how that works. To wrap this video up, I'm sort of shocked about these two. I honestly didn't think I would find much of a difference in terms of results because the consistency, the dryness factor, the fragrance, etc., was all very, very similar as they are the same brand. But in terms of results, the intensifier really did bring in sun quicker to my skin. Be careful where your SPF. The accelerator zoomed in a nice golden bronze. Was it still fast? Sure. Was it as fast as this one? No. The intensifier shortened the amount of time I had to be outside to get a tan by a lot. The accelerator gave me such a nice golden result while still being outside. And I even have a little video of me putting a sticker on my leg, applying this lotion on top, and then peeling off the sticker two hours later where you can see that I actually have a little little bit of a tan line from the sticker. That is proof that I did get nice color that day and that it did work. I can insert that on the screen right now. My observations about the accelerator because it is formulated for in salon use is that it is meant to be used with very strong UV rays. So a tanning bed is going to give you zaps and zaps of UV hella quick. And so what I think it's focusing on is, okay, you've already got the fastness coming because you're not in the tanning bed for that long. So we're gonna focus on giving you that golden color. So you come out more golden and have to come back in less sessions. That's what I think this accelerator is trying to give off. It definitely works outside. It is very, very good. But this would explain why the intensifier using it outside made it a little bit more quicker for sun to get to my skin. To compare these Australian gold baddies to the other tanning lotions and browning lotions I have talked about on my channel, go check them out if you haven't seen them already. I'm going to tell you. I think these are taking first place now. Did it just get hot in here? Cause there's some piping tea. Woo, girl. I talked about my last video, sun bum tanning oil with SPF 15, muy bueno. 
In terms of lotion though, we're talking about the Maui Bay Browning Lotion, the Sun Bum Browning Lotion, and now we are talking about the Intensifier by Australian Gold and the Accelerator by Australian Gold. I gotta say, these are now top. I love the consistency of them. There is a no risk factor. I honestly feel like these are just the easiest and have great results. Absolutely fabulous. If I had to pick one, I'm gonna go ahead and pick the intensifier. This is just because I already don't wanna spend a lot of time out in the sun and because this really did accelerate my time out in the sun, although it's called intensifier, I really did like it. Let me just say, when I tried both of these products out, I did have SPF 15 by Hawaiian Tropic Lotion Sunscreen over my body before pairing these lotions on top. I didn't do it in the same day. These were in two separate days, so I didn't get my results mixed up. But just to let you know, I do wear SPF underneath these lotions. I do put these on my face. I put both of them on my face on the two days that I tested them. I found no issues to arise. No um, uh, uh, rashes, no mm, uh, clogged pores, just greatness smelling near my nose hole. Let's do a recap. They both smell fabulous. They both dry quick. They both don't stain. They both have great consistencies. Did I say they smell fabulous? Probably. This one, Accelerator, has a little tiny orange tint to it. Very slight, does not stain. This intensifier is white. Smooths right into the skin, Bob's your uncle. Accelerator giving me a nice golden dark tan. Intensifier, bringing the sun rays quicker than ever, girl. If I had to pick one to pick up out of these two, I'm gonna go ahead and say Intensifier. The products I'm talking about today will be for sale on Amazon and I will link all that down below and you can go pick yourself up some of the goodies. You are also not supposed to buy tanning salon formula, UV bed lotion, blah, blah, all that stuff on Amazon because sometimes people are scams. Sometimes the sellers are not real. So make sure if you are going to get the Australian Gold Accelerator Dark Tanning Salon Formula, this one, that you make sure you're buying it directly from Australian Gold. Thank you guys so much for watching my video on my... Australian gold goodies. I love these lotions. Australian gold, you keep doing you because all your stuff is fab If there's anything else you guys want me to review in terms of tanning or any other videos you want to see from me, let me know down below. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.